Hey everyone, it's Bobby from Decoding here, and this is the second video in the Python Hedera Hashgraph playlist that I'm just knocking up. And I'm putting it together because I want to have an active part of these early stages of promoting Hedera Hashgraph and also helping developers that code in Python to start using Hedera Hashgraph in their web apps and start exchanging HBAR for products and services, right? So HBAR is the native cryptocurrency for um, Hedera Hashgraph. It's uh, massively environmentally friendly in comparison to uh, the likes of Bitcoin and Ethereum and things like that, or sort of blockchain technologies. Uh, it's a lot cheaper to use and it's a hell of a lot quicker. So that's what I'm trying to do in this playlist. I'm promoting Hedera Hashgraph. I'm trying to help you as developers to get started because it is very, very early in the Hedera Hashgraph journey. Early to the point where we haven't even got a Python SDK currently. We have got SDKs for Java, for JavaScript, for Go and for .NET and they are building Python SDKs but we haven't got one yet. We do however have a wrapper and that Python wrapper it uses the Java SDK. So in the last video, number one which is the link up here, uh, what I did is I helped you set up your machine. It's a Windows machine that I'm using here. And we set up our environment variables. We uh, downloaded JDK and got that all set up on our machine. So we're now ready to go. And in this video, we'll set up a new um, project on our machine. Uh, so we'll set up a virtual environment and we'll pip install um, a, a library which is a Python SDK and then we'll just go through some of the files that come with that library and hopefully start setting up a client. So before I jump into it, if you have never come across Decoding before and this is your first time, then welcome. But please subscribe and click that bell so you're notified every time I add a new video to YouTube. And also, if you fancy contributing to the growth of this channel, then there is a Patreon page link in the description, but also it's got my HBAR wallet as well. So you can actually transfer HBAR and help me out. So um, all these contributions help me create videos quicker and hopefully they'll be of a better quality because I can spend a bit more time on them. So look at my screen. It opens up straight away on the Hedera SDK PY. Um, so it's a, a pypi.org, it's a public repository. This is where you can pip install uh, libraries into projects and use code. It basically saves you a hell of a lot of time having to code a lot of stuff yourself. Uh, so with two or three lines of code, you can get a hell of a lot more output with very little input. So that's that's what we do here. And this is a project that's been added. So it's 2.0.5 currently. And uh, we went through this in the last video, so I won't go over old ground, but essentially you have to pip install straight from the GitHub because the pip, um, pip install Hedera SDK PY doesn't quite work. Uh, currently, when you see this video, it might do. Uh, but we set up all this last time and it's got some examples. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to set up a project on my machine. We're going to pip install from GitHub and we're going to open up um, one of the files so you can actually see what's going on under the hood and then hopefully we can start coding. So what we'll do, I'll open up CMD. Here we go and we will make virtual ENV. This is assuming you've got Python installed on your machine. You will need Python. So um, after all, we are using Python in this uh, playlist. So make virtual ENV. This is uh, creating all the necessary directories on my machine so I can have a local environment so I can run a server locally and, uh, and this is what you do when you're in development. Uh, so make virtual environment, let's call this Hedera demo. Let that do what it's gotta do. And when you do this, it's now in the background, it's just adding all those directories onto my machine into the uh, the directory that I've preset, which in my case is uh, users Bobby ENV, and that's what we'll be going into in a second. So you can see here, when it's in, in brackets on the left-hand side here, that means that the command was successful. It's created all those directories and it's fired that virtual environment up. So what we can do is deactivate so that will deactivate the virtual environment and then what you do is you call work on 
Hedera demo. And what that does is that'll fire it back up. So that's how you do it. Um, I probably will do a video in the next few months of how to set all of the, your machine up so you can get Python working, get these EMVs um, set up on your machine in the right way so that you can actually develop better web apps better. So let's take the command straight from um, GitHub. So if we go back onto here, any links that we reference in this video, by the way, I will have in the description below. So highlight that whole command, copy it, go back into your CMD. And what we do is we, because we've got our virtual environment fired up, pip install, just paste. Okay, and what that's probably gonna take a minute or two. There we have it. No, it's still going. Oh, there we go, it's done. I might edit that, no, I won't, I'll keep it in. So as is the fashion of these videos, I, um, I, tr I like to keep them as clunky as I can. <laughs> so what normally happens is um, when you first fire up a virtual environment, sometimes there's a more uh, recent version of PIP, they seem to update PIP every five minutes. So I normally have to go, um, just copy that whole command there. So C uses Bobby ENVs. That's how I've set up my ENVs in my virtual environments. Uh, and you can see here that we've, uh, so the virtual environment calls Hedera demo, then it goes scripts and there's a python.exe file in there. And that's what we're calling and that's how we're in it updating PIP. So I've copied and pasted that command, click go, and that will go and give you the most recent version of PIP. Good, right, we've now got a virtual environment set up on our machine and we've got Hedera uh, Python SDK installed. I think that's what it's called, is it? Hedera SDK PY. So what we'll do now is I will open up one of the directories in that new library that we've installed so you can see what it's doing. Okay, I've gone ahead and opened that in Sublime. So I use, I generally use um, Sublime as my text editor. Uh, I do sometimes use uh, Visual Studio as well, but Sublime Text is my kind of default. So use any uh, text editor you wish. So this is, so what I've done, I've opened up the Hedera directory. So uh, let me show you where that is actually. Yeah, what I'll do. I'll just drag this across. Yeah, so EMVs, right, okay. So if I drag that across and I'll just resize it quickly. Um, like I say, nice and clunky. Good, okay, so this is uh, C Drive users Bobby ENVs. So that's the directory that I've configured in my environment, environment variables. So that when I make the command, uh, make virtual environment, this is, the directory it creates. So you can see here we've got Hedera demo. I've got a whole other bit, a few bits and pieces that I've been working on recently. And this is the normal setup. So you've got lib, you've got site packages, and then in there you've got all of the, and so these are all of the uh, directories or libraries that we've got just to get a, um, a virtual environment set up in the first place, because all I've actually installed other than what comes straight out of the box is Hedera. So that is it. So this is the directory itself, okay? So we're gonna open up this PY file here, so it's generated, uh, because it will show you what it's doing in the PY file, which allows us to work with the SDK uh, for Java. So let's go back into, um, that's the one. There's a generated.py. So here we go. Um, let me make this a little bit bigger for you. So what it's doing is we're importing OS and what it's doing here is it's using a library JNIUS. So link to this will be in the description below, but I've got it open here. So basically this library that's been installed into the, um, the wrapper for Python is, what's it say? There we go. So it's a Python module to access Java classes as Python classes using the Java native interface, JNI. Okay, so this library allows us to, in, it allows Python to interface with Java, and that is exactly what this wrapper is trying to do. So in this file generated.py, what it's doing here is it's, 
using this method called auto class that comes from uh, JNI US and it's essentially converting a Java class com.hedera.hashgraph.stk da, 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 is converting that into a Python class called Hedera receipt status exceptions. And it's doing that with all of the Java, Java classes that are in the SDK. So I won't go through all of them because we'll be working through that throughout the playlist. But if you can see here, we've got so many of them. We've got, uh, I think there's a create client one here. There we go, no, client. So this is the one we need straight off the bat. This is, a this is what allows us to interface with Hedera Hashgraph. You have to create a client in testnet, mainnet, or preview net. So this is what we'll be playing with in the next video. But uh, this is what it's doing, right? So this is what this rapid is doing. It's using Java classes and converting them into Python classes that we can actually use them as we would by, by writing normal uh, Python code, right? So that's what's happening. That is the generated.py file. So um, we haven't done much in this tutorial uh, other than pip install a package that, uh, so the SDK that we've got on um, PYPI, the public repository, we've pip installed it into a new virtual environment on our machine. So in the next video, what we'll do, we'll set up, or we'll actually we'll start going through the uh, docs on Hedera and go through each step and build a client, create a customer, and hopefully make some charges and transfers. So that is the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. Again, if this is the first time that you visited this channel, then please subscribe and please like and click that bell so that every time I add a video onto YouTube, you're notified and everyone's happy, right? So, and also if you want to support us, link to my Patreon page is in the description below and also my HBAR wallet is in there too. So you can actually transfer HBAR to me to help me create content quicker, of a better quality and hopefully get it out there a little bit more often. So get more engagement and get monetized. So thanks for watching. This is the end of the video and I will be seeing you in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.